Assalamualaikum. Today we will learn the techniques of applying different types of the surgical knots. First come the single handed knot. In order to apply this type of the knot, we will pick up the short thread which is currently facing up between the thumb and the ring finger. So we are laying it downward over these two fingers. Then bring the short thread up. So we bring the short thread over and then under. Then we will come back the other way. We will hold the short thread between the thumb and the first finger. Then we will bring the long thread down again. So in this way the short thread goes over, under and down. So the knot is formed in this way. Next type of knot is that of the double handed knot in which we use the both hands and the hands must cross each other while making the knot. So here we have one long end and one short end. Make half loop around the thumb of the left end. Then pinch the thumb and the index finger to make a loop. Then take the other end of the thread through it. So in this way we just make the first stroke. Now stick index finger out. Make the half loop with the index finger. Then complete the loop, close, go through the loop and construct the other end. Next comes the surgeon knot which is a more secure form of the knot. In the surgeon knot, tie the two throws and snug those down and then return to make two more throws. So in this way, a more secure form of the knot is made, although it is not very pretty looking. Next come the tying in depth. First of all, hook the thread around the structure to be tied. Take the pink end of the thread and bring it over the index finger. The index finger will flux us to bring the green row and then it extends to take the green and inside the loop. The knot is then tightened. Next comes the instrument tight knot. So for this, take the needle holder and make the loop of the pink thread around the needle holder. Then grasp the white end with the needle holder and bring the thread towards you. Now open the needle holder and hold the other end of the thread in the same way to make a knot which is then tied. Next type of the knot is that of the granny knot. In granny knot we overlap the two threads, pass one thread through the other threads loop and then pass the other thread through the first thread loop and the ends are pulled and the knot is tightened. Next comes the slip knot which you can see here. For this type of the knot, make a loop by doubling line back on itself. Then run the tag end back toward the loop and lay over the double line. Make one or two turns with the tag end around the double line and through new loop created. The last type is that of the Aberdeen knot. So for this type of knot, finish the continuous suture pattern first. Pull the final loop of the suture loose. Then pull the free end of the suture through the final loop whilst creating the loop with a free end. Pull the new loop with a free end created tight. This equals one throw. Place more throws in the same way as per recommendations. To end, pull the free end through the loop completely without creating a new loop. Now we will quickly go through each type of the knots again. Here we have the single handed knot in which one hand is used for knot tying. This is the double handed knot in which two hands are used and both hands are crossed to each other. Here we have a surgeon knot which is more secure form of the knot in which we make the two throws. Here we have the knot tying in the depth. Here we have instrument tie knot. 
This is the granny knot, although it is rarely used in surgery, but we should learn the technique. This is the slip knot and here we have Abadi knot. So thank you so much. That was all about the different types of the knots. Subscribe on Obstant Gaini Al Hafiz.